Today's news is brought to you by refreshing all-natural water, now available in Pepsi flavor. This man developed diabetes from not watching enough television. Could it happen to you? You watching me, watching you, watching... Having been forced by public outrage to reduce the percentage of so-called pink slime present in so-called ground beef, the meat processing industry is seeking a new market for their semi-gelatinous animal byproducts. Well, good news! Starting this month, cost-conscious consumers will have the option to supplement their protein with new Soylent Pink brand partially meat-based meat substitute. It only costs pennies a bucket, and one serving contains an adult's entire daily recommended intake of sphincter. Hi, welcome back to Recipe for Success. Joining me today is Miss Molly McKinnon, whose family is currently under investigation for patent infringement by our good friends at Monsanto. How's that crust coming, dear? Uh, almost done. During the break, we had a team of forensic nutritionists do a broad spectrum analysis of your apple's genome. And we found some mighty familiar DNA segments. Call me old fashioned, but I happen to think that genetic patent infringement is a violation of intellectual property rights. Mmm! Oh, delicious. How can you be so ungrateful? Monsanto genetically modified these apples to be five times more wholesome and natural. That's why you're legally obligated to burn seeds at the end of each fiscal year. I didn't do this on purpose. I mean, it could have been like cross-pollination. <laughs> <gasps> Dear shush, you're gonna give your lawyer an aneurysm. Monsanto crops have been toxic to insects, birds, and small mammals since 1998. Of course, you would know this had your family paid their bio license fees or subscribed to the bio newsletter. This is some sort of mistake. I never ever meant to steal anything. Well, now we have your confession. And this delicious apple pie. One of which anyone else would be happy to pay the proper bio license fee. However, Ms. McKinnon, your family lawyer has offered a plea bargain to allow the McKinnons to keep their firm. Thank God. In exchange for which, they have offered the producers of this program your services as an indentured intern for two full seasons. So tune in next week and the following 100 weeks as Miss McKinnon shows you how to cook delicious, healthy food right here on Recipe for Success. It's never too early to start thinking about heart disease. That's why I drink Basel. Welcome to a little segment I like to call Flash Forward. The future, what's coming? Tubed food, that's what's coming right in your mouth. No more delicacies with the, the sprig of parsley and the wedge of lemon. Forget all that. All the food will be in one long, narrow tube, okay? All of it. A thick, creamy paste packed with protein. You know what I mean? Tubed food. Watch for it. Hi, I'm baby Jessica here with your wonderful, magical news. Walt Disney Resorts Incorporated continues to expand overseas. Despite mixed success with Euro Disney in Paris and super extreme Lucky Disney Go Time in Tokyo, the company has now turned its attention to the emerging markets of East Africa. With the grand opening of their newest attraction, a Ugandan water park known as Coney Island. According to Disney, the turnout so far has been disappointing. One representative was quoted as saying, I just can't understand where all the children are. Today's news was brought to you by Soylent Pink, the flesh-colored bio paste that will have you saying, I can't believe it's not people. 